Artemisia annua, also known as sweet wormwood, sweet annie, sweet sagewort, annual mugwort or annual wormwood, is a common type of wormwood native to temperate Asia, but naturalized in many countries including scattered parts of North America. Characteristics, it has fern-like leaves, bright yellow flowers, and a camphor-like scent. Its height averages about 2 m, and the plant is a single stem, alternating branches and alternating leaves which range from 2.5 a euro 5 cm in length. It is cross-pollinated by wind or insects. It is a diploid plant with chromosome number 2 and equals 18. Medicinal uses equals Folk medicine equals, in traditional Chinese medicine, a annua is traditionally used to treat fever. Equals extractions equals, in 1971. Scientists demonstrated the plant extracts had anti-malarial activity in primate models, and in 1972, the active ingredient, artemisinin, was isolated and its chemical structure described. Artemisinin may be extracted using a low boiling point solvent, such as diethyl ether, and is found in the glandular trichomes of the leaves, stems, and inflorescences, and it is concentrated in the upper portions of plant within new growth. The first isolation of artemisinin from the herb occurred from a military project known as Project 523, following the study of traditional medicine pharmacopoeia performed by Tuyuyu and other researchers within the project. Equals malaria treatment equals. Research to develop anti-malarial drugs led to the discovery of artemisinin, a compound which is extracted from Artemisia annua, in the 1970s by Chinese scientist Tuyuyu for which he shared the 2050 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. While most TCM herbs are boiled at high temperature that can damage the active ingredient in Artemisia annua, one traditional source says that this herb is to be steeped in cold water. Knowing this, scientists found that a better extract was obtained by using a low-temperature ether-based extraction method, and by adding detoxification and purification processes, they could create a drug with sufficient active ingredient to be effective. Artemisinin is a sesquiterpen lactone with an endoperoxide bridge and has been produced semi-synthetically as an anti-malarial drug. The efficacy of tea made from A. annua in the treatment of malaria is contentious. According to some authors, artemisinin is not soluble in water and the concentrations in these infusions are considered insufficient to treat malaria. In 2004, the Ethiopian Ministry of Health changed Ethiopia's first-line anti-malaria drug from sulfidoxine pyrimethamine, which is an average 36% treatment failure rate, to Artema the Lumfantrine, a drug therapy containing artemisinin which is 100% effective when used correctly, despite a worldwide shortage at the time of the needed derivative from A. annua. A 2012 review said that artemisinin-based remedies are the most effective drugs for the treatment of malaria. A 2013 review suggested that although Artemisia annua may not cause hepatotoxicity, hematotoxicity, or hyperlipidemia, it should be used cautiously during pregnancy due to a potential risk of embryotoxicity at a high dose. Despite global efforts in combating malaria, it remains a large burden for the population, particularly in tropical and subtropical regions. Although WHO recommends artemisinin-based remedies for treating uncomplicated malaria, artemisinin resistance can no longer be ignored. The causes that affected the emergence of artemisinin resistance include, for example, the use of artemisinin-based remedies. Encouraging herbal alternatives are in the pipeline, but the only indelible solution for the eradication of malaria would be for the creation of an effective vaccination. Emergence of artemisinin resistance has been identified in Cambodia and the border of Thailand. It will likely spread to other endemic areas across the world in the impending future. As of 2013, it seems that the pathogenic agent of malaria is slowly becoming resistant to artemisinin-based drugs. Equals asthma equals, animal experiments showed that artsunate, a synthetic derivative of artemisinin, has anti-allergic properties by affecting mast cell degranulation. This makes artsunate a candidate for treatment of allergic asthma. A metabolomics animal study further strengthens this hope. Equals mechanism equals. The proposed mechanism of action of artemisinin involves cleavage of endoperoxide bridges by iron, 
producing free radicals which damage biological macromolecules causing oxidative stress in the cells of the parasite. Malaria is caused by apicomplexins, primarily Plasmodium falciparum, which largely reside in red blood cells and itself contains iron-rich heme groups. Equals cancer drug research equals, synthetic derivatives of artemisinin are being investigated for their potential use as anti-cancer drugs. References External links, Distribution of Artemisinin in Artemisia Annua, Project to Improve Artemisinin Yield at the University of York, Data Sheet about Artemisia Annua from Purdue University.